All right, this is Coach Lebeter. I'm doing a video on how to solve systems of equations. And remember, systems of e linear equations is when you have two equations with two variables, and the variables have to be the same, like both have x's and both have y's, okay? And so this is what we call a two by two, because there's two equations with two variables. These are in standard form, all right? And so one of the big things that we want to do is we want to um get this we want to get this into the y equals format or x equals format okay so we we really want to get this y equals x, x equals or y equals all right so here's a way to avoid fractions all right so the first thing you want to do is look for a variable that doesn't have a number on it and use that equation so if you see here see the x here all the rest of them have numbers on it two five and three so we want the first equation and because there's no, and we're going to solve for that for that letter. So we're going to say x plus two y equals two. All right. So we want to solve for x because x is has no number on it. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract two y from both sides. I'm going to bring down my x. These cancel out, and then I have equals two minus two y. Now, this here, all of this represents my x value. And since I picked this equation first, now I'm going to pick a different equation. So I'll use a different color here so it kind of stands out. So I'm going to use x plus, I'm sorry, I did the wrong one, 5x minus 3y equals a negative 29. That's the other equation that we have here. So once you solve for this, whatever you get here, you're going to plug it into the second equation. So we're going to take 2 minus 2y, and we're going to plug it in to my x value here, because all of this equals x. So this right here is x. And these two are multiplied together. So I'm actually going to say 5 and we'll put it in parentheses so we know we're going to be distributing 2y minus 3y equals a negative 29. All right, so now you should know that you're going to distribute. So I'm going to take 5 and multiply it to, uh, to 2, and I'm going to get 10. And then I'll multiply 5 times a negative 2y. All right, so that's what I just did there. And then I'm going to bring down my other guys. They're going to be the same. Nothing's changing. Now, if you look, you're going to find something that there's two y's. There's two groups of y's here. So if you're looking here, you can probably see it right here. I have a negative 2y and a negative 3y. <laughs> All right, you see that? And so we're going to bring that down. Okay, so I'm looking here and I just realized what I did wrong. A five times two is 10. Five times two is 10 again. So this is supposed to be negative 10. I'm rushing, so I made a mistake. So make sure you don't rush through these things. So again, here we go. It's two minus two y, so I put that in there. So five times two is 10. Five times a negative two is a negative 10 y, because there's a y there. Now, if you look in the middle here, you'll notice that the, where I've circled, that these two, I have a negative 10 and a negative three, which makes it a negative 13 Y. That's where that comes from. So I'm gonna bring everything down like it was. So I'm bringing down my 10 and I will say equals a negative 29. All right, now I gotta move my number over to my other number because this has a Y on it. So this is a positive 10, we, the negative only goes to the 13. So this is a positive 10, all right? And so the opposite of positive 10 is negative 10 equal and then negative 10 again. Bring down my negative 13y. These cancel out. A negative 29 and a negative 10. Put that in your calculator. You're going to find that it's a negative 39. All right. Now, what's being done to y? It's being multiplied by negative 13. So the opposite of multiplied by negative 13, okay, that we're going to say is divide both sides by negative 13. And when you do this, the 13's, 13 divided by 13 is one, and one times y is y, because that's how come I have one y. 
and negative and a negative make a positive. So I'm putting a little positive. So you know that. And three goes into 13. Use your calculator, you'll get three. So y equals three. Now, notice this is y. So we're going to go back up here. And if you notice, we had an equation that said something like this. It's right here. We said x equals 2 minus 2y. Two we found the y answer. Now we got to find the x answer. And so you notice y equals 3. So I'm going to put where there's a y, I'm going to put a 3. So these two are multiplied together. So this is what it looks like. x equals 2 minus 2. And remember that y is a 3. So if I multiply these right, I get 6. It's Don't say 2 minus 2 is 0 because PEMDAS says multiply first before you subtract. So negative 2 times 3 is a negative 6. Now x equals a negative 4. So what does this mean? What this means is if you have the ordered pair x and y, that means my point is negative 4, 3. And so if you had uh, two lines, okay, so if you have two equations, all right, negative four would be, let's say, pretend it's right here. Three would be right here. There's my point. And so what we would say is that we have two lines that are crossing and they're both touching right here at negative four, three. So that's where my intersection is. And that's, the, that's a single point because how many times are they touching? They're touching one time. All right, so let's do the second one, the one that's right next. So that was number one. This was number one. And hopefully I won't mess up like I did on the first one, it's number two. All right, so here we go. We're going to put this equation down, and we want to find which letter does not have a number on it. If you notice, both these problems look very similar. All right, so it looks like we're going to do this one because it has no number in front. I'm sorry. It has no number in front of the X. All right, so I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to solve for x, so that means I'm going to do the opposite of everything else. Bring down my x, and I'm going to say this is 13 plus 3y. Now remember, you can put the 3y first and then plus 13 if you want to. All right, so all of this is my x value. So now I'm going to take this equation, and I'm going to write it down here. And now I'm going to plug in my box into that right there for x. I'm going to substitute it in. That's why it's called substitution method. See that? That's where that goes. Then don't forget this back part. I do that a lot myself, and I notice a lot of students do it too. All right. So now I'm going to distribute. So five times 13 is 65, five times three is 15, and there's a Y on it. That three Y, I'm just gonna leave it alone. I'm not gonna bother with it. And that's two. Now, if you look, I have two Y's that I'm gonna to combine together and put those together, that's 18 Y. All right. I keep forgetting that to scroll my paper. I'm so sorry. All right. So anyway, let me go back over. So I distribute the five to both of these and I got 15 and uh, I got 65. Five times 13 is 65. Five times three is 15. I brought down my three Y and brought down my two. I combined the guys in the middle because both of them have a Y and this they're both plus. So 15 plus three is 18 and they're both Y's. And I just brought everything else down. Now I'm going to move this 65 over to the 2 because they're both numbers, and I want to isolate this 18y by itself. I don't want it around. So I'm going to say minus 65 to both sides. I'm bring down 18y. That is going to be a negative 63. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 18. These will cancel out, so I get y equals, and this is where you might want to get a calculator just to double check your math. 
so you don't mess up. So you're going to say negative 63. <coughs> Excuse me. Divide by 18 equals, and it's a negative 3.5. Now, what do I do with that negative three point five? Well, I go up here, look for my X, my little box. There it is right there. And I'm going to bring this up here and I'm going to plug in three, negative 3.5 in for dot Y, see the Y. And so I'm going to say X equals 13 plus three. And then we'll put it in a little different color so it stands out, negative 3.5. I'd multiply first, and that should be about uh, 10.5, negative 10.5, actually. So hopefully you can just enter it in the calculator, just like you see it. And it looks like X is going to be 2.5. So again, my coordinates are going to be 2.5 and negative 3.5. And again, this is where my line is going to cross the, let's see, one, two, three, so 0.5 down. One, two, three, four. So in between those two, so this is where my line is going to cross right there. Okay. If I could get it to draw better. All right. So that's how you do the substitution method. Now I am going to show you a couple of little special cases. All right. So I'm going to show you a special case. Now I'm talking about a couple of these. All right. So we're going to do these two here and then we'll be done. And so I'm going to go ahead and do number three. There's Sometimes these, these situations occur. And so you need to make sure when you see this, you have an idea how this works. All right, I'm gonna pick the same equations I've done before, the one with no number on it. All right, so that one looks it. So I'm gonna say X minus two Y equals three. I'm gonna subtract or add two Y to both sides. I'm gonna isolate my X by itself. This will be x equals 3 plus 2y. And I'm going to raise this up so we can see better. All right, so all this is my x value. All right, so my other equation, which is right here, I'm going to put down right here. And I'm going to plug that guy in right in for the x. There's my 2. And don't forget this number here. Like I said, a lot of people forget that. They get through distributing and they see a Y and they see that Y and just think they've got it done and they keep getting it. So I'm going to distribute. So that's three times two is six. Two times two is four, but there's a Y and this has a minus four Y and this is six. All right, so now if you look carefully, you'll see something here. It's on four minus four, which equals zero. So my Y's cancel out. So I have no Y's, I have no X's, I have no Y's. And so the only thing I got left is six equals six, okay? And so you have to kind of think about this. There's no letter. So when you see this, you ask yourself, does six equal six? And of course the answer is yes, six does equal six. So otherwise they're the same. See how six and six are the same number? Because they're the same, you might want to think of it as this. They're the same line. So there's one line, and then here's the other line. They're the same line. So they're on top of each other. Okay, and if they're the same line, we call this an infinite set. In class, we like to use the words all real numbers. And we use like, I call it the double bar R. <laughs> all right, so there's that one. That's how you do it. That's a special case one. All right, so let's do the next one, number four. And I'm gonna to try to put it right next to the other one. All right, so here we go. Number four is minus X plus two Y equals three. And then two X minus four Y equals three. We're gonna solve for X again for this one. That one seems to be a popular one. They're doing X on every one of them. So I'll start with this one, minus X plus two Y equals three. So I'm going to subtract two Y to both sides. Bring down my negative X. 
Now, remember, we talked about this in class. You cannot have a negative variable when you're solving when it equals. So it has to be x equals, not negative x. So we really divide everything by negative one. But in class, we discuss, hey, all I got to do is just change everything to its opposite sign. Now, that is my box. Change my marker here. So now I'm going to use the other equation. And I'm going to plug in my x value in. So I'm going to substitute it. Don't forget that negative 4y here because I'm distributing this 2 to everything for this x. And now I've got to say minus 4y equals 3. Distribute. That'll be negative 6. Distribute again. That'd be plus 4y. Oh, I have a minus 4y equals 3. And again, if you notice here, it looks like my y's cancel out, so I have no more variables again. But this time I have negative 6 equals 3. Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting to raise it up. I'm so sorry. All right, so distribute the 2 to the negative 3 and the 2 to the... I'm sorry, let me, I'm going to just do this again. You plug this in, you get 2 times 3. Negative 3 is negative 6. 2 times 2 is 4. And then bring down the negative four and the three. We're going to combine the guys in the middle and you see it's zero. So this is zero. So the only thing I have left is negative six equals three. Does not negative six equal three? And you should say no. And the answer would be no solution, which means they're going to be parallel lines. That means they're not going to touch. All right. We also can call this an empty set. All right, so I just want to give you kind of an idea how that works. That's how it works with substitution method.